All right, I'm making this emblem to honor half cup. And I decided it'd be quicker to use a match plate than cast each individual, each piece individually. Hey, this is my, this is a snap flask that you've seen before. Snap flask. Once you've rammed up the mold, you can snap the flask apart, take it off the sand and mold up another one if you like. It's a good size flask and I'm used it to make a cheek for a gear I cast. So I added these pieces on the ends. It started life just using these wedges. So the pieces on the end let me put a cheek in here to make a three-part flask. So that makes it ideal to go ahead and put a match plate in. A match plate, everything is on a plate so you ram the sand up in the drag and then in the cope take the match plate out and you're done so this is the match plate i've been making for it basically laid out where i wanted the pattern it's gonna go like this. And then drill some alignment holes through. Drill alignment hole through for the riser, one for the gate, one for the sprue, and one for a the other end of the runner. So I could put a, a spin gate on it, surge trap. So once I had these holes drilled, I turned it over and lined these up on those holes and drew the outline around it. And then I could come back and route out two slots to match these 3D printed uh, bars with lettering in them. Then I put the gate uh, on that I want to use and sketched around it and sketched around where the uh, runner is going to go, the runner and the gator and the drag, the back of the patterns in the drag, everything else is in the coat. So now I'm ready to assemble it. I'll start with the cope side. I'm just going to use Elmer's glue. Hold everything down, it works pretty good. That's going to need to be clamped. Now, when I made the feeder, I went ahead and turned a little knob on the end of it. So I drill a hole in the right location, it would. locate real easily. And then for the sprue, I'm 
I made a 3 16 hole in it using a 3 16 dowel in it. So all I'm going to do right now is glue the dowel in place. Then my surge trap, I did the same thing. That's what fell on the floor. And lastly, the gate. Now the pattern seems to be warped up a little bit, so I'm going to clamp it down. Put this piece of wood on the back. Hopefully get it where it'll span. I think that'll work pretty good. Just see that lineup hole. So that's perfect. that falls off I'll put it back on I think everything else will stay oh the uh, trap is not down good all right glad I didn't just walk away I've been breaking it out Now on this side we've got the runner. <laughs> Make sure I know which way you switch. Okay. Spin traps on this end. And the runner has a curve to come off the sprue. We could go a little lighter on some of this glue. I 
should have marked the size of this riser, but it looks like we got it pretty close there. And yes, I do like the taste of glue. gate and I had to clamp that I'm over a little too far with my board so I think I better let all that set up and then I'll come back and move that over and glue this down in place I want to make sure the gate is well away from the lettering because when I go to cut the gate off and grind or machine it down, I need to have enough gap that I don't damage the lettering, don't get into it. Well, glue's had about an hour to set, so I think it'll be in good shape. is right where it needs to be. What could be better? All right. This is gonna be a ramp to let the metal down out of the feeder. That's not ideal. It's better to come straight in, but this is what we're getting. That's where I had it placed. I think that'll do it. 